What's happening guys, Safety Liner C2 here, lots of lots, there's two that I'm going to show off, don't forget that if you have something that you want to submit for lots of lots, bust up for sale, the picture videos, or any one of my videos, you can do it in the video request form found in the description of any one of my videos. So the first lot we're going to take a real quick look at brings us to Kaneohe, Hawaii, this lot was submitted by Carl. First off, we can see a bunch of minnow tours that are handicapped. We have this single non-handicapped minnow tour. Notice that this one is older based off of the taillights and that it also doesn't have a white roof. Then we have two columns. This one is handicapped. This one is not. There's an HDX right here, an ICRE, and then five CEs. Notice that this one on the end does have a strobe light while the others don't. Notice that on these two minnow tours, we have single rear stop signs indicating that these could have been California buses before. I'm not extremely familiar with Hawaii state specs. As far as I know, California is the only place that allows this, and I don't think I've ever seen any other Hawaii bus do this before, so I'm not exactly sure how they're getting away with this. Finally, a closer look at the CE on the end here with the strobe light. We also have a full streamer and a flippable school bus sign for trips, so I'm willing to bet that this one was originally from Pennsylvania. You can see that there was some sort of lettering on here before that you can see the shadowing but these three specs are just really screaming pennsylvania and i would not be surprised if they bought this bus used so those california hawaii buses whatever we want to call them those are really throwing me off i need to definitely look more into that but otherwise hawaii does have a lot of really interesting specs in some places like with red rub rails and red around the warning lights and we'll have to dive more into hawaii in a separate video the other lot i want to show you came from that one bus driver 36 productions we are in airdrie alberta starting us off we have a c2 a Corbet 3800 some more c2s we have a bluebird 3800 some ce's Corbet and Bluebird 3800 and some more CEs. We have two CEs and five C2s. There's some CEs and a Corbet 3800, three Collins Chevys. Here we have a C2, a Collins, another C2, and a Vision. Going back to August 2019, take a look at this CE. It doesn't appear that it was an original canadian bus because of the lack of black around the warning lights to add to that this one also has warning light visors i am not sure where this bus would have come from but you can see that this is a first student lot so i wouldn't be surprised if this came from somewhere in the u.s we're in september 2014 now the years throughout show mostly the same stuff but we have a corbray 3800 down here two fs 65s a ce a C2 and another Corbet 3800 in the background. June 2009 is surprisingly not potato quality. We have a Corbet 3800, a first look at one of the CV200s, and another Bluebird 3800, a shorty FS65, some more Corbet 3800s, another CV200. We're further down in the lot back in April 2023. We have three C2s and a CE. Pretty much CEs here with a few C2s. Then we have two more CEs. This front one is handicapped and throwing me off a little bit again because of the lack of black around the warning lights. And now take a look at this CE again specifically around the warning lights. We can see that this was obviously repainted. I can't imagine the factory would have sent it out like that. And we can see first student shadowing right here as well as some other shadows around the bus so i'm not really sure what's up with that one august 2019 a ce some corbet 3800s and an fs65 we also have an actual g5 branded g5 and i've always loved this option where the black back here kind of wraps around around the tail lights i think that looks really well if the specs are right there's a handicapped minnow tour right here and another corbet both are fords september 2014 shows us a few more cv200s a bluebird 3800 cv200 and fs65 august 2012 we can see a mix of bluebird and corbet 3800s this one looks kind of weird without the black around the warning lights and lack of warning light visors on the back there's also a Thomas 3800 right here. I believe that's the first one I've seen. Then take a look at this beautiful, probably one of the better looking first student buses I've seen. Bluebird 3800. Tinted windows, black window posts, full streamer, strobe light, individual warning light covers. 
Black Hood, and I'm kind of getting the vibe that this was originally a New England bus, maybe from Connecticut or Massachusetts based off of the specs. This is kind of an oddball because of specifically the individual warning light covers and the tinted windows and black window posts. That just doesn't fit in with I don't think any other Canadian spec that I've seen. And finally, rounding it off, June 2009, a Bluebird 3800 and CV200. Another CV200 with a front wheelchair lift. And this appears to be a Ford B700. It could be a CV200, but it really looks like a B700 to me. And of course, some more Bluebird, Thomas, and Corbeys. Notice specifically this one right here has the four ways instead of eight ways like all the others. So seeing some of those buses in there raises the question, can first student bring US buses into Canada or Canada into the US? I have no idea, but it looks like some of those are not original Canadian buses to me. If you happen to know, of course, let me know. I'm curious. And don't forget that if you have something that you want to submit for lots of lots, bus stuff for sale, the picture videos, or any one of my videos in general, you can throw it in the video request form found in the description of any one of my videos. And with that, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical white button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down. I don't care where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up or we're just going to keep looking at more first student lots. And make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom. Show it to your dad. Show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching.